Sims, it's Spacey Sims, and we are back, or technically not back, but we are here today with the spin-off series from the warehouse on Black Street. So hopefully you finished watching that series, otherwise, spoiler alert, you know who wins, because we're here with Gideon. So, hey, um, so, some changes. And I found a really great challenge that works really well with the warehouse on Black Street and how that worked out. And they just fit really well together and it's got a really good story arc. So we're going to go with that challenge. Um, so basically, um, I'm going to try to organize my thoughts. So uh, the challenge that I'm going to be doing with Gideon um, is going to be a slight adaptation of the Highlander Crest. Um, it's kind of a legacy challenge. It's by Buttons Ginger. Um, I will try to remember to leave the link to the challenge in uh, the description uh, so you can, guys can check it out. Um, I'm recording this way in advance uh, because I already finished um, the Warehouse on Black Street Challenge and um, I think I just posted episode 23 and there's like 30 episodes. So we're way ahead. I'm way ahead, but I couldn't wait to just at least do the intro video for this um, to just kind of get you up to speed on what's going on and like the story arc and everything that's going. So anyway, so the Highlander Crest Legacy is basically you're playing through 10 generations and your founder Sim basically lives through those 10 generations. So that would be Gideon. He is never going to die. He's going to be, we're going to basically have to be giving him potions or whatever. So that he is going to be living throughout these generations. So that's really awesome. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do five generations and I'll kind of explain why. So basically the story behind this is, you know, Gideon kidnapped however he ended up in the warehouse competing against those five other Sims to basically survive. And what happened after, you know, Tanvi lost and she was put in the Red Room was Leon told Gideon that he had a choice. He could stay in the warehouse and run the game for the next group of six Sims that were pulled in. So basically, he would be Leon. Um, or he could choose to take this potion. So he had a, a vial that he was giving to Gideon. He said he could take it. He, go, he told him, I can't tell you what happens. I was given the same choice. I chose to run the game. Um, so you can either choose to live like that and basically be Leon, be this caretaker, like take his place. Um, or you can take this potion, this whatever's in this vial and deal with the consequences. So Gideon kind of had to weigh that. He doesn't know what's in this potion vial. It could be poison. He could end up dead. But he thought about it. Could he be Leon? Could he take over Leon's spot and watch six other people fight challenges to the death, not knowing what's happening to them, and just be basically murdered? I mean, this was straight up murder, guys. Um, so he decided that he can't watch, he already watched five people that he became friends with die. And even though he's happy that he survived, he's still got to live with that. And he doesn't think that he can live after having watched those five people die and then go through the same thing with six new people. So he decides, you know what, I'm not going to play this game. I'm going to take what's ever in that potion vial. And if it's poison and I die, so be it. Like, I, I want to be able to be free of this place, but that's the thing. I either get trapped here or I take this and it's poison and I die and I'm free. So he decides to take the potion. What that potion is, though, is now, unfortunately, it's an immortality potion. So now he is stuck living in the warehouse still, but he's free. He doesn't have to trap other Sims. He's free to live his life. The consequence to this, however, is that he's going to go out there He's going to get a job, he's going to live his life, he's going to get married, he's going to have children, but he is doomed to watch five generations of his family come and go before he can die and be at peace. 
So that kind of sucks. I mean, you think about it, you're like, woohoo, I get to live almost forever, but you're watching your family. You're going to watch your wife grow old and die. You're going to watch your kids grow old and die, and your grandkids, and your great grandkids, and your great great grandkids, and etc. Um, and he has to live through five generations, and he has to name his children. Each generation has to be named after the person um, that corresponds to that generation. So, okay, let me explain that because I didn't say that clearly. So basically, um, his first generation of children will basically be named after Beckett because Beckett is the first person that died. But what he's going to have to do is the first child is going to have to have a B name, the second child would have an E name, the third child would have a C name, etc. So he has to basically have seven kids. Um, Actually, I don't know if Beckett, if I spelled it with two T's or just one T, but anyway. So he basically has to have the amount of kids, that's the amount of letters in that Sim's name, and he has to name them successively, like B, E, C, and spell out that person's name with their the first initial of his children's names. The second generation would name their children after Azure, so it would be A, Z, U, R, and E, and then so on and so forth, until the last generation would name their kids so it would be T, A, N, V, and I for Tan, V. And the last child, the I child, um, in that fifth generation, when they age up to a young adult, um, that's when, I think we're going to do it either when they age up to a young adult or when they die. Um, maybe when they get married and have kids. I don't know how we're going to end it. But that's basically when Gideon will be allowed to then grow old, age, and die. So when that last child in the fifth generation turns into a young adult, I, this is kind of what we'll go with now, so I'm probably going to forget five generations from now, so forgive me. Um, Gideon will, stop, will start aging again, and he will be allowed to progress from a young adult to an adult, and then from an adult to elder, and then die. So um, I think actually maybe we'll try to time it so... That maybe when that child is a teenager, you know, or whatever, so that, you know, we're going to have to keep working with it because he's a young adult. So I want him to be able to be able to turn into an elder when that child turns into a young adult and then then he can just live out the rest of his days and die. So that's how we're going to work it. So, um, so that's basically the whole story arc. Um, for this. So you can see why I kind of thought this was like a really cool challenge to do because I actually thought this challenge looked like it was a lot of fun and I know that I had said that maybe I would do a challenge with whoever won um, the warehouse challenge and then I was like okay with the upcoming get together LP and all the other things that I have like I don't know if I have time I don't know if I want to but then I was like thinking about it as, as I was filming the last few episodes of the warehouse and I was like oh my god this would be I was kind of running through ideas because I think I was thinking about doing like my A to Z challenge that somebody asked me to do, like the, you know, like the baby A to Z challenge. And I was like, well, that was more like what I would do in place of 100 baby when that do is done. And this just seemed like a really good fit for this because, I mean, just the story arc that you can put between it, like Gideon is now, he thinks he's free from the warehouse, but now he's doomed to live here for five generations of his family. Um... So the thing that we're kind of missing in this is obviously like the um, Highlander Crest Challenge has 10 generations. We're only going to do five and that kind of fits just because I don't want to do something forever long because I've got the Pendragon Legacy that's 10 generations. I've got My Little Pony that's going on forever. I've got, you know, the 100 Baby that's still going. I've got Kitchen Sink. i got a ton of other things that are really long. I want to keep this one kind of short and five the birds are going nuts. I'm sure you can hear them. Holy crap. Um, and, you know, five fit perfectly in with, you know, I was like cutting it down in half and it's perfect because he has five Sims that died that he has to, you know, basically name his children after and oh my God, that worked. And it just kind of all fit together. So, uh, but again, I will try to remember to link uh, the challenge below so you guys can actually see the actual rules if you want to try the, the real version yourself. Um, so, um, we're gonna, uh, I think in the rules of the challenge, you were 
your uh, founder, so Gideon, can continue to have children throughout the challenge. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to have him, he's going to have his seven kids. If for some reason his spouse dies before they have all their kids, he will get married and have those other kids and they will still count as the second generation. Um, and then any one of those children, whoever we choose, will be the heir. The other ones will move out and that one will live in this house. So we're going to be keeping this house um, for the entire duration. Uh, so what I was going to do is I was going to have him live in the warehouse. We were going to basically remove the door to the basement so nobody could get down there, but so the ghosts could wander around. Um, but I had found this lot um, that I'm going to show you. I found it on Tumblr. Um, and I, f I'm going to, I'll go back, um, and share it on my Tumblr page so you guys can download it if you want. Um, because I think I forgot to do that. Pretty sure I found it on Tumblr. Um, and it's, um, sorry. I'm sorry. I was just, I just started to choke. Um, like I breathed in wrong. And I think I breathed in, you can hear it in my voice. Holy crap. Well, I'm sorry. Um, so it's a factory. I mean, they had it fully decorated and it was gorgeous with all the decorations and all the furniture and like even the stuff on the outside, there was like crates and like rocket ship launch pads that looked great. Um, but I decided to do it unfurnished because I, Gideon has, there was, it was about 50,000 simoleons in the warehouse. And I was basically going to just get rid of the furniture in the warehouse and just have him use that and start building off that. Then I thought, well, maybe I'll move it to a bigger lot. And then I remembered this, this factory. And I'm like, if I had had this factory, this lot that this person built, um, let me just actually go into the gallery and I'll show you the lot. Um, it, you can't get it on the gallery, unfortunately. Um, I'm sorry, I can't even again that's a lot of v's and k's and a's and things in there and i just i don't even know um but um the furnishing is i mean like some of the stuff isn't present on mine just because i did mine unfurnished um that's some trees but it's just amazing but it looked really cool and if i had found this lot before i started the warehouse challenge we would have been doing the warehouse challenge in this instead of the crappy little shack that i built you know, I just built something quick. Um, but this is amazing. So I would have been using this anyway. And this is where they would have, uh, you know, this is my ramshackle little mess. And this is the most amazing thing I've seen. So yeah. Um, so let me actually just zoom out so you can kind of see it. So, um, so there is a floor up here. Actually, is it? yeah, that's cool. So wow. Um, so this, so, I mean, you can see there's not, there used to be actually like decorative stuff out here and more fences and stuff like that, that unfortunately we didn't keep because I did it unfurnished, which stinks, but it's okay. It works. Um, these are not the, don't worry, these are not our ghosts. Um, I saved our basement from the warehouse and I put it down here. So we'll start down here. So this is, I saved the basement from the warehouse and the, I rearranged stuff and updated it a little bit. But um, I brought over our ghosts. So we have actual ghosts. The only thing that really stinks is until the MC command center mod works again, we're not going to be able to make sure our ghosts don't get cold. So if my, if these guys get cold before that mod gets fixed for the new patch, I'm going to cry because that was one of the huge things was these ghosts will always be haunting him and like his family will always be haunting him um whoever lives in the house I don't think I'm going to save all the ghosts for everybody just because that would just be ridiculous but um so as you can see there's no door in here but the ghosts should be able to walk through the walls I hope they can because I don't I'm pretty sure ghosts can walk through walls right I mean they should be able to because otherwise it's gonna stink because um I want the ghosts to be able to come in and out but I don't want anybody able to, able to get into this room so we're just gonna we're pretending in a way that this is the warehouse that they survived the challenge in 
even though it wasn't, but whatever. So you've got a bunch of rooms down here, which obviously this was like a bathroom with showers and stuff. And they had tons of cool stuff, like all the science equipment down here. I mean, it was great. Furnished, it's an amazing lot. Um, uh, so when I, when I moved that basement down there, I had taken the urns out. But for some reason, when I saved the room, it does didn't show the urns in there, but empty urns got placed. Obviously not Tanby's because she wasn't dead at the point when I saved the lot. Um, so I moved those out here just to look like there's other people buried out there or whatever. Um, but yeah, so um, so I just, I threw in some random furnishings. So I gave him like a computer and he's got an easel and the bonsai chess table, which I forgot to put chairs on. So let me actually do that. Um, it would be really great if we could have this like furnished. So the only thing I did obviously is I did unfurnished. I and I added cuz the, unfortunately the lamps all disappeared. So I added the lighting and obviously the interior decor. Um because I want this to be um I want it to be like he is Hello. Thank you. He's like, he's gaining everything. So as he makes money, as his family makes money, we'll refurnish and we'll redecorate and, you know, we'll, we'll break down these walls. So it's one big bathroom down here or something as opposed to, to, I, I changed the doors cause it was a men's and a woman's bathroom doors. And I just, I just took that out. Um, you know, so, and then he's got his kitchen table and a, just, just a simple kitchen. And so he moved in here. I used obviously free real estate, um, to move him in here but he came only with like the 50,000 whatever simoleons that he had from the warehouse um so that's basically all he had so he was basically given the warehouse uh I have no idea why that wasn't there but that's okay um and so we've got room for bedrooms and everything up here too so there's like a couple of bedrooms up here uh and then his bedroom and I made this the bathroom. The only thing is, is there's no other bathroom up here. I just realized that. Oh, well, not a big deal. Um, we can always maybe extend this wall a little bit and then make a bathroom up here, just like a really small one, or they can just all come in that because they're all going to use whatever bathroom anyway. Um, so yeah, that's basically the story behind this. So when we come back, we will be Starting with Gideon and seeing how his life progresses and everything. Um, so, and what I've decided to do is we are going to make sure we get a picture of every child when they hit like young adult or teen, whatever. And I'm going to put them here. So we're going to have the generations, you know. Um, so we'll have all of the kids that spell out Beckett as your, you know, West, Calla, Tanby. So it's really actually good that. Beckett was the first to die because he's the one with the longest name. Um, no, we have to have seven kids. Uh, <laughs> so, damn. And you'll notice it doesn't say by Leon Franz anymore because when I moved... Um, because Leon, basically, his story is that he had chosen, so he had the same choice. He won. And he had the same choice that Gideon had, which was you know, to take the potion or to do this. So he decided to play the game and be like basically the house master. And so once Gideon wanted made his choice, Leon was allowed to die. So he now is gone off, disappeared. He's basically, he can grow old and die now because he was basically frozen in old age. Um, so yeah, so he's gone. I he obviously exists in the save version that I have of the warehouse, but and obviously in my gallery. But in this game, he's gone. I deleted him out of the game. I didn't kill him, although actually having him die and having his ghost haunt them would have been good too. But Gideon doesn't know what happened to Leon. Leon basically was like, "All right, cool, you took the potion, peace out," and he's gone. He disappeared off the face of the earth. So he probably went someplace some awesome foreign country like maybe he went to Tahiti or something or you know Bali somewhere nice and tropical and beautiful and just disappeared into the ether you know so 
He's happy now because he's free. And Gideon is, you know, he's going to make the best of it. But, of course, it's going to be difficult when he watches his entire family die and he watches his wife and everything. But he doesn't really think about that yet. He hasn't quite come to terms with that. Um, Because, you know, he just... He's like, I don't have to torture five other people. He just doesn't realize that those are strangers. And yes, you became friends with his people. And that sucks. I mean, it totally does. And there's a guilt that you're going to live with forever. But he's kind of thinking of it like he's got that guilt. And that's horrible. But he can now move on with his life and try to live. And, you know, get a job. And maybe make some friends. And meet someone. And have a family. And that will help him, you know, he can redeem himself, basically, instead of thinking about being the person that keeps torturing people and watching these people die, you know. He watched five people die. He can't watch another five people die. The thing he doesn't realize, because he's not thinking ahead, is, you know, it's great. You are going to be able to move on with your life and and grow and change and and find family and comfort and all those things, but now you're going to watch your family die and that's going to be awful too. So, I mean, it's a toss up. I mean, it's hard either way. He's got a hor- he had a horrible choice and he didn't know what the potion vial was going to do. You know, if all he knew, he it could have killed him. It could have been poison. And he's thinking to himself, huh, watch five people die and not be able to tell him what's going on um, or take the potion that could be poisoned and maybe die myself and not have to torture five people. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that potion vial. I mean, you know, red pill, blue pill, Neo, you know, (laughs) Um, but anyway, so that is the beginning. Oh, and Gideon also, he was Gideon Yee. He is now Gideon Blackwell because he has now taken over the warehouse on Black Street. And this is his story. He took this new last name to start a new life to sort of be a different person. He's not really a different person. Obviously he's the same person, but different last name because now he's in charge of this, you know, warehouse, this, I didn't want to call it, it's a Highlander crest and I was going to call it black crest, but black crest is just a weird last name. So it was Blackwell crest. This is the Blackwell crest, the Highlander legacy. So I know it's kind of mixing up the, you know, challenge title or whatever, but that's what it is. So that's what we were going with. So I am going to leave you here and I will see you next time. And we will jump into actually playing and starting Gideon's life, finding him a job, meeting some people, trying to move on with his life and starting the five generations in the Blackwell Crest legacy, the Highlander legacy, Blackwell Crest, the Highlander legacy. I gotta get used to that title. Um, still working on it. So maybe by the time this post, it'll be different. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.